natural. I said, look in the mirror. Don't be so humble. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Well, I've got to look at myself badly because that's how I'm going to do good. But are you doing good? You must look in the mirror and see yourself as a person of worth. I'm telling you, I'm telling you a secret now. Some of the stuff that I have to advise people about and counsel people about, try and work through about, but the truth is that I don't go through. You know why I don't go through? Not because I think I'm all that, but I think I'm better than that. No, I'm serious. I see myself as special. I think that God did a miraculous thing when God allowed me to be birthed to Marty Ward. I believe God did a special thing when he allowed me to be the son of Lester James Ward Jr. I think God did a special thing. It is not because I think I'm all that, but because I think God does not waste any blessings. You are here for a reason. Now you can get up tomorrow morning, go look in the mirror, but when you look in the mirror, look at yourself and say, I am special. I am a child of God. I'm going forth and I'm going to make a difference in God's name. Or you can look in the mirror and say, oh, I ain't nothing but some junk, and I need some more makeup, and I got these wrinkles, and I've got, I need to shave, or I need to, but you can choose to look at yourself that way, and if, and if you do, you're choosing to see yourself that way for the rest of your life, because how you see yourself makes a difference for how you live. I want some people who live as victors. I want some people who make a difference in this world. I want some people who conquer mountains, who pull down. You're not a victim. You're not a victim. I said you're not a victim. Look, let's, I said first, you see. That, that, that was found in Genesis 16.5, the King James Version. And it says that she was despised in Hagar's eyes. And first, Hagar sees Sarai as beneath her. But first you see, but secondly, they see. In the next verse it says, since your, Abram says to Sarai, he's talking to Sarai because Sarai is in his face. And Abram is talking to her. He says, since your slave is in your hand, do to her the good in your eyes. Genesis 16, 6. He tells her to do the good to her that's in her eyes. So, the first thing is how you perceive yourself, how you see. But the second point is that they see. Sarai has the power to do to Hagar whatever she wants, she thinks. In Matthew chapter 4, Jesus right after he is baptized is taken up by the devil and to the in, in, in to the temptation and he is tempted by the devil and every time first he was tempted by bread and Jesus says it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceedeth out of the mount of mouth of God and then uh, the devil tries something else and takes him up into the, 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 the pinnacle of the temple and tells him to throw himself down. He says that the word says that the angels shall have charge of you. And Jesus says it is written, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And then the angel takes him, the devil takes him up into a mountain and shows him the kingdoms of this world and says that if, if you'll just worship me, that, 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 
that I'll give you all of this. And Jesus says, get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shall thy serve. And the first thing I want you to get is that the word is important and when the devil is trying to define you use the word of God as your defense that's what Jesus did right after he was baptized right before he began his three-year public ministry the devil tried to wipe him out but Jesus used the word of God as his defense use the word of God as your defense don't worry about how you remember it just read it just study the word of God and God will bring to your remembrance everything that you need I don't care if you say amen. I'm just telling you how I'm telling you how it's done. Use the word of God as your defense. Don't allow anybody to define you. First is you see and we need a better self-image. But secondly is they see and you cannot allow anybody's perception of who you are to define you. You be a child of God and you just stand for God. But you've got to stand through the word of God. We've got too many people who are always complaining. I hear people complaining. They said, they did this to me. <laughs> they always talk about me. They did me wrong. <laughs> They, they did this, they did that, they did that. And what I'm going to tell you is that they do not matter. It's you. It's how you perceive yourself. Stand up and be a child of God. You don't have to worry about how they perceive you. You don't have to be afraid of what they say about you. Just be afraid of what you think about yourself. There is nothing that they can do to you. You have to stand and be a man or a woman by yourself. Who could have told Barack Obama, because you're an interracial child, because your mama was white and your daddy was Nigerian, because he's from a little village we can't even pronounce in Kenya, and because of all of that, you'll never be anything. You'll never amount to anything. But God, God can't do anything to you in your life. Do not worry about what they say. It doesn't matter what side of town they say is good. You can do and be anything that you want to do and be. They see you as bad. They see a problem. They see, you know, when I was an uh, elementary school child, they, I took an exam and that exam said that I could be a dock foreman or I could do uh, a kind of, and, and I'm not talking about dock foreman. If you're a dock foreman and you're a good dock foreman, that's a good thing. But they said that I could be a common laborer, but I could not do anything exceptional. That's what they were saying. But that's what they said. There is nothing and nobody that can define you. You must define yourself and you must allow God to define you. It doesn't matter what they say. Don't be afraid of them, but trust in God. You must define yourself. Their opinions change. You make the difference. Have you ever been in a situation where people were saying one thing one day and something else the next day? 
Huh? It's you who make the difference.